minivan, fresh with a more aerodynamic front end, and new interior appointments. Mark Stengel reports. It's a funny thing about American minivans. The car-based platforms like Chrysler's Caravan Voyager or GM's Lumina Silhouette and Transport want to become more truck-like. And the truck-based minivans like the Ford Aerostar, Chevy Astro, and GMC Safari want to become more car-like. For 1992, Ford's gotten about as close as possible to reaching an ideal compromise with their extended-length Eddie Bauer Aerostar. Inside, there's a new standard equipment driver's side airbag, column-mounted shifter, and car-like dash layout. Outside, standard rear-wheel anti-lock brakes are mated to an optional four-wheel drive setup employing computerized slip control. The result is improved traction performance under acceleration and braking, regardless of weather and road conditions. The power behind the package comes from Ford's 4-liter V6 with port fuel injection. Shoehorned like it is into the Aerostar's slippery, space shuttle-derived snout, access is a do-it-yourselfer's nightmare. And engine and transmission noise is loud as heck, but performance is plentiful for the minivan's 3,800-pound curb weight. Expect 155 horsepower at 4,000 RPM and a healthy 230 foot-pounds of torque at a relatively low 2,400 RPM. Mating the 4-liter V6 to Ford's heavy-duty 4-speed overdrive automatic produces a powertrain combo that's capable of a stout 4,800-pound tow rating while delivering fairly moderate fuel ratings of 16 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon highway. Despite coil spring suspension at all four corners, handling feels a little top-heavy and ride quality definitely suffers from the 14-inch wheels and the underlying truck platform. Front discs and ABS-assisted rear drums make good stoppers, however, both in terms of braking distance and fade resistance. As for warranty protection, this year Ford offers three-year, 36,000-mile protection from bumper to bumper. The Aerostar reserves its most car-like touches for the interior, where the upscale Eddie Bauer appearance package adds a distinctly plush touch all round. Quad captain's chairs, upholstered in leather, are very tony, Dash controls and digital gauges are easy to reach and view, and the driver's information display with its various calculated readouts is actually quite handy. Storage cubbies abound under the passenger seat and in the front and rear of the center console. There are plenty of cup holders too, plus a handy activator for your garage door opener. The AM-FM cassette stereo is upgraded with a 7-channel graphic equalizer, but the slickest audio trick by far is the rear headphone panel with independent volume controls and rear speaker cutout. Just the thing to pacify the kitty contingent on a long trip. There are even rear HVAC vents mounted overhead with their own independent flow control. Ford really deserves a hand for improving the overall comfort level of the Aerostar for 92. But one thing they've still got to figure out is how to get people in and out of this thing. From the back seat, you've basically got two choices both of them bad. The only alternative to squeezing past the front of the passenger side captain's chair is tilting it forward slightly and squeezing behind. But the Aerostar rewards the effort with genuine comfort for as many as seven passengers. If cargo is your thing, the extended length Eddie Bauer Aerostar is right on target. Depending on your load, you can mix and match the three rear seats to make room for nearly 170 cubic feet of boxy storage on a wide, flat floor. For 92, the Aerostar comes closer to its car-like competition without sacrificing its workhorse qualities. Ford's minivan earns our definite thumbs up for its high degree of interior comfort, computerized four-wheel drive, a convenient and functional dash redesign, and its spacious and versatile cargo capacity. We say thumbs down, however, for the Aerostar's poorly insulated engine and transmission noise, the difficulty getting into and out of the rearmost seat, and it's moderately stiff and truck-like ride. For all of its advantages and disadvantages, you've got to admit, the Ford Aerostar is aging gracefully. True, around town, it's a little more cargo-capable than people-friendly, but for a 700-mile road trip with three kids in the back, it'd be hard to find a better road wagon than the Eddie Bauer Aerostar. Just make sure you have enough sets of headphones to go around. I'm Mark Stengel for Road Test Magazine.
The base price for the Aerostar is $23,813, extras totaling $1,974 took our test model to a total of $25,787. Well, that completes today's show, Don. What can we